My name is uh, Francesca Winfield. I was the founder and also the former chairwoman of Kudak Turtle Conservation Society, also known as KTCS. I'm a certified Canadian swim coach, a very keen scuba diver and a snorkeler. We worked in Malaysia a long time back and we decided that we'd like to live in retire in Malaysia. So we started planning to look around Malaysia for the, a suitable location. We wanted nice beaches, clean water, clean environment and nice people. And Kudat has all those attributes. It's a wonderful place to live. What happened was when I lived here and uh, my housemate, my housemate uh, called and told me one day that there was a clutch of turtle eggs that was being exposed and washed up to shore and the kampung villagers uh, picked them up for food. The thought of, you know, no more hatchling from this clutch of turtle eggs, it's devastating for me. Kebanyakan daripada penyu yang bertelur, selalunya dia punya telur itu tidak selamat. Dia selalunya diambil oleh orang, dan juga mungkin binatang-binatang. In the kampung, Everybody will take. Why not? It's food and then they can sell and it's income. You know, it's understandable. But they don't know about the conservation part. This is the problem. That's why I, when I realized that that's the problem, that's why I wanted to help them. So I want to divert them into other activity so it, it can take the pressure off all these uh, turtles, eggs and then you know, killing all the uh, fish, yeah. What we do mainly is we have patroller, and so they always go out every night to patrol the beach. And if they found any nest, so they will relocate the eggs to the hatchery. Dalam satu kali patrolling tu ada dua orang, kadang-kadang tiga orang. Jadi kami mula patrolling pada jam 8 malam, jam 10, dan juga jam 4 pagi. Kadang-kadang punya ini ada yang awal bertelur. Jadi kalau pada waktu malam jam 8 tu itu yang paling bahaya. Semua so, kadang-kadang ramai orang yang masih jalan-jalan di pantai. Saya memang pernah makan telur penyu, pernah makan daging penyu. Tapi pada masa itu memang kami langsung tidak tahu apa itu pemuliharaan dan memang tiada kesedaran langsung. Apa yang kami tahu penyu ini macam sejenis Hidupan laut yang lain yang boleh dituai, boleh diambil, boleh dimakan dan dijual dan sebagainya. Apa yang saya ingat kalau kalangan orang rungus ni? Jadi bila ada penyu, bila ada mendarat untuk bertelur dan kebetulan orang jalan di pantai dan dia nampak penyu tersebut, memang dia akan bukan hanya telur dia diambil, tapi dengan daging-daging dia sekali. In 2017, we have 2,000 people from 60 kampongs, the whole of Kudat divisions came together and did the cleanup and we collected 25 tons. I would say altogether we collected from 2007 to uh, last year at least 250 tons of uh, trash for all this time. If there are a lot of trash, you know, they are very harmful to the turtle. One, they eat all this plastic thinking it's food. And then second, it makes it harder for them to get up to the beach. Imagine all this rubbish, yeah, for them to get up and then find a proper nesting area for them to nest. Saya memang rasa yang penyu ini semakin pupus. Jadi jika tiada yang memelihara penyu ini, mungkin di generasi akan datang mereka tidak akan dapat melihat apa itu penyu mungkin mereka hanya akan mendengar daripada cerita nampak di TV saja tapi mungkin secara pribadi mungkin mereka tidak akan 
nampak macam mana bentuk penyu yang sebenarnya.